second video of the CSOM 101 series, we want to see how we can add or remove SharePoint lists using client-side object model. In this video, we start by making a connection to the SharePoint site, then we create a list or library using CSOM, then we will show you how we can delete the library using CSOM again. So let's start by making the connection to the SharePoint site. So we create a project, we add CSOM references, and we create a client context object. Let's go to Visual Studio. Inside Visual Studio, I create a Windows application, and I call it CSOM 101 Part 2. When the project is created, I just add the references. References SharePoint.Client.dll, SharePoint.Client.Runtime.dll are added. Then I go back to my source code and I add using Microsoft.SharePoint.Client. As soon as you add the reference to the SharePoint.Client, you will see this underline, so it tells you that, okay, I don't know which form you mean, the form in the SharePoint.Client or the Windows form. So I click on it and I say, okay, when I, in this class, we mean system.windows.forms. So it's resolved and we made the reference and the namespaces to SharePoint. All I need to do now is going to form, adding a button, And I call it create list, double click, and I create my client context. I call it CTX equals new client context. It requires the URL to the website that I'm adding it right away. The SharePoint site that we are using is CSOM 101 updated. Here is the URL of the website. And I just add it to my client context code. Now we want to create a list or library using CSOM. Let's understand the object model before we start coding. Remember we have the web object and under web object, we have a collection called lists, that this lists collection can contain a couple of lists. To add something to this collection, obviously I should call the add method. But to call the add method, add requires some information to know how to create the new list and add it to this lists collection. To do that, we package all the information in an object called list creation information. Then we pass it as a parameter to add and client side object model will automatically create the list for us. Let's see. In this demo, we want to create an announcement list. We call it company news. The description is going to be add announcements to this list and we also want to display it on the quick launch bar. Let's see how it works. Now, let's start coding to create the list. As I mentioned before, first I get a reference to web. I call it myweb equals uh, ctx.web. The next step is going to be creating the list creation information object. So list creation information, I call it list info equals new list creation information, list info dot, I can say the title is going to be company announcements, uh, list info dot description is going to be add company announcements here. And I also need to specify a template. So I would say list info dot template type 
is going to be list template type dot announcements. Okay, the only thing is that the list template type is actually an integer, and to use this enum, we need to cast it to int. It works perfectly. Now that I have the list creation information object, I can say myweb.lists.add. And I would say list info. And the add function returns a reference to the list that is newly created, that I call it my list here. So if I want to make more and more updates to it, I can do that. Now I can say my list dot on quick launch, set it to true so that it's displayed on quick launch, and finally my list dot update so that the changes are applied after the list creation. Till now, nothing has been submitted to SharePoint. As always, we call ctx dot execute query to create the object and after the job is done I would say message box dot show and that's going to be list created. Let's run it and see how it works. So I click on create list, it tells me list created and if I go back to the site I click on this I would see I will see the company announcements and if I click on it you will see the announcement list is created. Now to delete the list or library using sysom, again we go back to the same collection. So we have the web, inside web we have lists collection with a couple of lists. So this time to delete a single list we need to call the delete object function of that specific list. So let's see how it is done. The demo is to delete a company news list or company announcement that I just created. To do that, I go back to the form again. I add another button to the form. And this button, I call it delete announcements. And I double click on it. Just like before, I need to create a client context object. I get a reference to the web, web my web equals, now I get a reference to the list collection, so I would say my web dot lists dot get item by title. So I need the title of that list that I just created. It's called Company Announcements. So Company Announcements. And when I get the list, I would say list my list equals. I have a reference to the list now. All I need to do is just saying my list dot delete object and finally ctx.execute query and finally my message box dot show list deleted and let's see how it works delete list deleted and if I go back there and I refresh the list is gone thank you for watching in next video we will see how we can add or remove columns to the list. Stay tuned.